When it was announced back in January that Naperville would have its first marathon in decades, registration maxed out in a matter of hours. Over the course of the year, the 3,200 entrants prepared themselves mentally and physically for the 26.2 mile and 13.1 mile events until race day would finally come. NCTV 17 was out in full force to capture all the excitement of the day. Our own Kevin Maycheck has a look back at the marathon and an in-depth peek behind who took home the gold. With a time of 2 hours, 34 minutes and 25 seconds, Jonathan Muscody was the first runner to cross the finish line for the Edward Hospital Naperville Marathon. I took a lot more conservative approach. Um, and I knew that because it's such a long race and it's very grueling and if you attack it at the beginning, uh, you'll pay for it and I almost did pay for it. To his advantage, Muscody had run much of the race route many times before while training with the North Central College men's cross country team. During his running career, he helped the team earn a second National Division III championship last year. After graduating in June, Muscody continued long-distance running, completing the Chicago Marathon just one month before winning Naperville's Marathon. The way I finished in Chicago, I felt a little better than Naperville because for the last six miles in Naperville, I was hanging out for my dear life. <laughs> I think it was one of the bikers, so I was like, uh, how far is second place <laughs> if it were to come up on me? Uh, it would have been, been a little different story. Much like Jonathan's story, Amanda Marachna also had a happy ending to her race, finishing the full marathon as the top female with a time of 2 hours, 50 minutes and 14 seconds. It was kind of just a neat experience because I've run, I've won races in like college before or high school, but uh, just to have done all that hard work and then have it like pay off, it was kind of cool. The 2006 Neuqua Valley graduate ran cross country there and at Miami of Ohio. Now she teaches and coaches runners at Matia Valley High School. Marachna says when she headed to the starting line, she never anticipated winning. My goal was to, for time and for me, and then if I won, then that'd be a plus. Whether first or last, all the runners who crossed the finish line achieved something that day. And many later went to Dick Pond's Athletics in Lyle, so they would forever have a memento to prove it. A lot of times when you get this big, you know, accomplishment in your life, you get, you know, a marathon medal, you want to have some kind of keepsake on it, so we did the marathon engraving. Um, it's something that all of our Dick Pond locations are offering, and so we just waited until after the Naperville Marathon to offer our marathon celebration. Also celebrating the race directors, who say the event went off without a hitch, and raised more than $280,000 in counting to be split amongst 26 local and national not-for-profits. When you go through two years of planning uh, for something like this, uh, you, you inhale two years ago and you exhale when the first runner crosses the finish line. And uh, we're very happy with the way things went. Organizers plan to double the number of runners for the 2014 Naperville Marathon, but that will require a new venue for the start and finish. It would have been very easy to add more runners. That's, that's really the easy part, uh, but it would have been the worst thing we could have done if we're really trying to uh, find out where we are uh, system-wise, logistically, and so forth to maintain the runner comfort, the runner experience needs to be at the highest level and also leverage that against public safety and public inconvenience and so forth. And we, I think we hit a home run with that also, picking the right number. And for next year's race, they've already picked November 9th as a likely date. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. NCTV 17 will rebroadcast highlights of the marathon through November 22nd. Check out NCTV17.com for air dates and times.